Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to build a custom screen reader app with a few lines of JavaScript. A screen reader is important for a website's accessibility. You don't normally enable it by default, but it is an option that people with disability can enable so it read the screen for them. Here is an example. This is my website and I enable this for the for the demo. If I click on any of this text, we design develop and grow successfully e-commerce brands and if i click on any other i hope you can see the the sound that is coming from my computer performance focused fast delivery that is a screen reader as i said you don't normally enable it by default but it is an option so in this video you will learn and understand how you can do it with a few lines of javascript it is really easy we are going to use the javascript api for this so what I can, I can do is, if I refresh my website, it will be gone because I wrote everything in the console in here. There is not a lot of code that you will write, but we will write a few of them. So I will clear the history. We don't have anything to worry about. Now if I click on any of this text, it is not going to work. So the first thing is, like how do you do that? Uh, let's say you have a text and you want to read that, like the screen to read that for you. So you will use the, um, the API. So what is the API? It is under the window uh, speech synthesis API. So you will use this window speech synthesis API, which is available in like browser and the speak function. In the speak function, function you will pass your world. Let's say hello world, something like that. Now, if I run this, we should get an error. So the error is like very clear. The text that you pass in here cannot be all type of text. It should be an in a sense of a speech synthesis alterance. Okay, I copy this word because it is a bit like too long. I'm going to create a variable and I'll call it msg or message. And I'm going to say this is the new instance of this speech synthesis alterance. That's all you have to do. Now what you can do is message m or, or message msg is an object and it accepts different like values so for example you have text you have voice you can change even the voice you can uh, do different things that we will uh, i will show you now now the text will accept like what text you want to read so let's say hello world for now for this this will be the text now you can pass the message to the speech sentences that I speak let's give it a try if i say window that speech synthesis that speak and we will pass the msg something like this now see it should read the text for me hello world okay that is the basic of like how a speech is going to work now to make it a bit like more fun we can change the voice also first we have to get the voice there are different types of voice with different accent and we have to get all these voices let me store those voices inside a variable and I'll call it voices and how do you get it again using this speech sen uh, synthesis that get voices function you can get all those voices now if you check the voices there are there are 67 different voices and each of them have different accent so let's since this is an array we can choose from one to five to six let's select four this is just a random and this is Emily Emily, I think yeah so what we can do is we can say msg that voice is equal to this num voice number four this is how we can uh, assign a voice once we do it now the voice is assigned to Emily and is this Canadian accent I don't know let's give it a try now I'll go back with my arrow to do this text speech speak again English. English. Mm. That is how it can read the hello world. Now let's change the voice uh, to another person. Let's pick zero. Uh, this is Karen from Australia. I'm going to speak again. Hello world. Now this is much nicer. You can give it a try. There are different. There are a few that I know. Like this Karen is better. And there is one called Alex. And if I give this a try. Hello world. This is also better. There, there are some robot voice also that you can find out among these uh, 67. But that is fine, I think, for now. What I can do is I can clear everything. And now, let's write an event to listen for the click. When someone click on them, grab the text, assign it to the message.txt, and then read it. That is what we do, right? First, let's 
get all the tags I will use document dot query selector all and in here I'm going to pass a few selector first I will select h1 h2 h3 and also paragraphs and also the links and that's all the tags I want but for your project you can select all links you can select inputs you can do different things for now that's fine now let's uh, say tags dot for each let's run this for each function in here I'm going to use ES6 arrow function so what we pass is for each of these tag go inside this function and do some comments now what do we do inside this we will add an event listener so we will say tag dot add event listener I hope I have the correct um, name for this okay now what we are listening to we are listening to click event and after that we are going to call a function again in here we can pass uh, an, an arrow function it will work the same way now inside the parameter we use the e e for the event now when someone click on this we, we want to grab the event using the event we can read the text inside where we click so how do we read the text we can use e dot target dot inner text something like that if you have tags inside tag inside another tag that way it is going to check only the only the text out of it if you have div tags inside that and that's how it is going to get the text out of all those tags now let's assign it to msg.txt something like this once it is done using the speech synthesis you don't have to write window like window is optional in here uh, you can use speech synthesis that speak again we will pass the msg now let's give it a run everything is looking fine to me uh, okay now let's give it a try I click on any of this text performance focused fast delivery we design develop and grow successful e-commerce brands so yeah that is what we do now that is how speech is going to work uh, in real world project basically this is how it like all you need to know like all you have to add in real world project you will also make we this design develop and grow successful e-commerce brands okay i stop this for now and in real world project you make this a background of yellow something uh, like highlight when someone click on it but this is basically how you can do it now it is like the basic application I'm going to clean up everything I'm going to refresh and I'm going to write the whole code again so I have already written the code with a little modification why not just copy it from this window I'll copy it let's come here and paste it what else I did now I'm going to show you again this is going to be a new instance of this uh, speech uh, synthesis utterance and then we change we get the voices in here we change the voice it doesn't change in this line but yeah so that's fine we get the tags for each tag we are adding the click event we assign the, the text inside this we also change the background of the text to yellow and then we speak here we have an interval if speech synthesis is speaking uh, every 100 milliseconds it is checking if it is speaking so if you have a long text it is going to check that and if, if it is speaking it will not do anything but if it is not speaking it will remove the background property and it is going to clear the interval that is how it works now let's run this code I'm going to unmute my laptop and now if I click in any of this performance focused fast delivery except for the fact it doesn't pick these values because it is not paragraph it is none of this so make sure you select all the tags that you want like div especially if you want to select all of them that is how it works this one is paragraph develop and grow successful e-commerce brands that is how a speech uh, text and a speech works in javascript i hope this video has been informative i will put this code on a github uh, just and you can access it thank you for watching i will see you in the next video